We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with some more Victoria 2. I'll continue my campaign where I dominated the whole world as Great Britain while using tips and exploits that I will also explain in the video. Sit back, grab your cup of tea and weird looking British top hat, and let's colonize the world. So here we are, beautiful UK, as you can see. And we're just gonna continue with our shenanigans. In the last part, captured Serbia and Ukraine. And I also finished taking up Japan. <laughs> They're now a little sad little blob here. No longer a threat. All of Asia is for us now. Our next target that I'm gonna acquire is Russia. We're gonna free Poland and Lithuania from them. And then we're gonna annex them, just like I did in part 2. I found the province where your mom lives, in the province of Slutsk. It's a very slutty place. <laughs> We're gonna be freeing sluts, free goff girls for anyone who joins the British Empire. Ah, I've trapped the French on the terrible Channel Islands. <laughs> You're gonna be stuck in there for the whole game now. Oh no, Mexico needs our, our help against the Americans. Uh, I don't have any troops here. I have a 9k stack. Uh, Robert here is gonna is gonna hold off all the Americans. Uh, I'm th I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna join. Oh, no, I just. Oh fuck. Okay, Russia wants to peace out, so let's accept their peace deal. And now it's time to defend Mexico. We're gonna intervene, so we, we're gonna... Do you want to intervene in the American invasion? Yes. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna save Mexico, hopefully. Okay, Robert. <laughs> Robert of Saxon Coburg, you're, a, you're probably an ancestor of the Belgian king, because he has the same family tree of you. Okay, you're gonna siege down Watertown. <laughs> Good luck, dude. I'm gonna get my Ukrainian army. What I've been doing is I've been encouraging Ukrainian soldiers, so my army is slowly becoming just a bunch of Ukrainians. It's, it's so that I don't have to kill off my own pops. Mr. Robert here is uh, doing God's work. He's holding off the, the Americans. Uh-oh. Oh no, they're coming to him. Oh no, he's getting surrounded. Oh-oh, no. Robert, look behind you. Robert, look, look behind you, they're gonna kill you. Oh no, oh, oh no, Robert is gonna die. Uh-oh. <laughs> we got our first naval in uh, battle. It's Mr. Edward Norrington, the, the five attack Chad, versus uh, the cuck Matthew C. Perry. We obliterated the navy. That's This is what was left of their navy, I think. Or no, I, I, I think I stack wiped it. <laughs> Ouch. And they all really want to peace out. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna annex Japan finally. I wonder what happens actually if you annex just Japan. It might break the game. Oh, Jesus, they have a lot of samurai. <laughs> Suddenly a 30k stack came out of nowhere. Uh, I'm at war with Korea all of a sudden. What? Oh, Korea is allied with Japan. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Goodbye Japan, this is the... What? They rejected it? Have you looked at your country, dude? <laughs> You're fully sieged down. Oh no, I have to... I have to take Korea as well, I think. Let's, uh, let's call in Spain, they'll, they'll do my dirty work, I hope. By the way, I also gave <laughs> Egypt <laughs> parts. Oh my god, bro. An another day, another revolt in India. <laughs> it's uh, wait, that doesn't seem like an Indian name to me. British Citizen Guard. What? Francis Smith. Is that an Indian? Where do all these English names come from? Oh, by the way, I forgot about the Japan War. So let's just piece them out. Spain added Pyongyang. So <laughs> let's just uh, let's. Dude, Korea, just peace out, dude. This is useless. Oh, I'm gonna have to send over the Asian task force. I've... Okay. Let's annex Japan. Okay, let's go. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, Spain, you're not getting Pyongyang. 
So look at that. Japan is fully colonized now. Every single bit is part of our empire. That's Spain. And in the north, we have the Netherlands. Yeah, they also own parts of, of uh, Japan. Oh, there is a crisis over Venice, over liberation of Venice. We're going to join this. Everyone is going to be on board. Crisis ended in a white peace. Nothing happened, sadly. So we'll just have to start our own wars then, I guess. Uh, if the rest of Europe is going to be a bunch of pussies. Here we go, another cool naval battle with uh, Sir Edward Norrington. He's just the best <laughs> general. Five plus general. You're not going to find a better one. By the way, you can individually, if you go to a naval battle, click on it. And if you go on to a ship, like, let's see, let's pick an Ottoman ship that's still alive. Like, if we click on it, we can see the battle that's happening. Uh, we'll see um, a bunch of numbers. I don't know what they all mean, but it looks very cool to just watch them. We're also uh, fighting against the Russians for the liberation. Well, quote-unquote liberation. We're just gonna, gonna take Poland for ourselves. Dude, I'm just getting dragged into wars. Another uh, American invasion of Mexico. Ugh, the Americans just keep coming. I'm at, I'm at war with a lot of people right now. <laughs> at war with the whole world. Uh -huh, I'm gonna trap the French on the British Channel Islands. Okay, I had this in the last video, but what is up with everyone being called Pasha or uh, Pasha or Bey? Like here you have Selim Pasha and Mudar Bey as generals. Uh, rebels are also Bey and Pasha. What's going on? Why Why do they all have the same names? It's so weird. It's like a clone army with just the same family or something. And look at the pie chart of my citizens. <laughs> this is the average uh, London culture pie chart. This is normal for Britain. Krakow is doing God's work. 1k stack. <laughs> They're uh, they're sieging down Russia as well. Oh my god, how did they win? What? They just won. They won from the Russians. Another day, another revolt in India. Just another revolt by a British citizen guard. <laughs> we made it to Moscow, boys. Let's go. We did it. We we made it to Moscow. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna justify conquest on Poland, Lithuania, and I'm gonna do the trick that I did in the last video. We got something very special. We got a colonial negotiations, which means that we can now colonize. Yeah, we can colonize, boys. The trick is to colonize the coastal stuff, so that will give you naval bases, which will in turn give you more colonial power, and it will also stop other powers from getting inside the continents. I love colonialism in this game, of course, not, a, not in real life. Fingers are starting to hurt because I have to colonize all these things, so I have to manually click it and then click on a protectorate button and then click on a further province and oh, it's so tedious. Oh, now uh, we're almost fully sieged down Poland and then we'll uh, take a huge chunk out of Russia. Okay, how do we do this? Oh, first Russia and then we accept the peace from Poland and voila, <laughs> well, let's go. We got a huge empire now in the middle of Russia. Oh, this is beautiful. This is, we have 30 infamy, but infamy is just a number. Let's, uh, let's turn them all into soldiers. Another day, another revolt in India. And our next step is taking on the German menace.